channel so today by the title of this video you can tell you can tell by the title of this video you would know that this is a lace glue review on the um isha luxury absolute lace wig bond glue it looks like this okay so most people mainly know about bold hole ghost bond you know those lace glues this i want it didn't just come out but some people are not like starting to use it and a lot of people have different experience experiences with this glue so that's why i wanted to do a review on it because it's a new glue so why wouldn't you want to know about like what it's all about so first and foremost i don't do like in three steps i guess i'm gonna talk about the hold i'm gonna talk about like the application process and then like after like how it holds after basically so for the hold out of from one to ten i would give it hmm, a seven and the reason why i would give it a seven is because yes it has a strong hold but with me, I'm not saying this with for everyone else or it applies to everyone else, but with me personally, if I just can see me. With me personally, like when I use this glue the first time, it held. I'm like, okay, that's good. I only had two layers. So I'm like, okay, it held or whatever. But it still had that like tacky residue. We even care about like, four days past. It still had that tacky residue, which I don't know why. But yeah. And it also but then the second day, not the second day, a couple of days later when I had used it again, for some reason it was not like holding down. Like my wig just kept sliding. I'm like, what's going on here? And yes, my forehead was clean. I cleaned it with, um, with haze, with everything. Like it was no residue, no nothing. I wasn't sweating, nothing. And for some reason it was not sticking. So I'm like, Hey, so that's why I give it a seven. And then when I tried it the third time, it held. So it's like a hit or miss with this, basically. I don't know. I feel like the second time, the reason why it didn't stick because when I used the um, oh yeah, I'm also gonna review the remover that comes with it. It's, it looks like this, and this is the remover that comes with it. So I guess like when I had used the remover to remove it and stuff, I guess it was probably a little bit remover lamp. So that's why it wasn't sticking now. I don't know. So for the hold, I give it a seven. For application, a nine. I give it a nine because it really, it goes on smoothly. Like unlike like unlike Ghost Bond, it's really like sticky and it gets really really tacky. So it's kind of hard to like smooth it and lay it down without making a mess. This one like it's really smooth to apply and get on. Like really, the only thing I kind of have a problem with which i don't think it's a bad thing but the only thing is that like this dries way more fast than the ghost bond like ghost bond you know once you apply you could wait a while fix up the hair or something then apply it this once it turns clear you want to apply it because this dries fast so that's why i give it a nine now for the like hold after eight like it holds like once you put on correctly like it holds and also one thing i like is that me like it's summertime so of course you're gonna sweat and like when i had sweat i realized that like okay like when the sweat gets to it like the glue will turn white but when like i guess you wipe off your sweat and you're done sweating or whatever the glue goes back clear and it doesn't move or nothing like it does not move it does not shift nothing so that's why i really really like like when water gets to it it doesn't budge like yes the glue may turn white but it's gonna eventually clear back up so that's what i really really really, really like about it is that like you know it holds a really good with water and trust me you cannot remove it with like soap water no 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 you need that this remover so i feel like that's a good and a bad thing if you don't have the remover how else am i gonna remove it because trust me y'all like when i first got this i'm thinking i don't need that lace remover they just saying that so if you get more money 
But no, you need it because when I try to remove it with, I try to remove it with alcohol. I put soap all over my forehead, shampoo. I put so much stuff and it was not removing. Like, okay, like the wig itself came off after a good few tries, but the glue left, like the glue residue left on my forehead, yo. My forehead was red, like red. Look like someone drew with a red marker on my forehead, like it was red. So I, I'm not even suggesting. It is mandatory that you get that base remover because if you don't, it's not coming off. It's not. Um, what else about this glue can I say? I also feel like with this glue, like when I use glue spawn and stuff, I use it for when I want to keep a wig in for a long time and have that, you know, strong hold for a long time, for like two weeks. This glue, I feel like this is a glue use when you want your wig to hold for like three or four days and then you want to take it off. Like that's what I use this glue for. Like you want it to hold for three or four days and still have a strong hold. And that's what this does. Like I would this I don't think it'll last a whole week. But it does last a couple of days with a strong hold, which is what I like. So I use this only when I'm like, oh I'm just going now. I'm gonna wear this wig for a couple of days and take it off. Basically like that. So yeah so that's just my review and and what gives the cherry on top is that it's only twenty dollars which is great because gold one and them other glues it's like thirty dollars this is 20 just 20 and it's cheap and very affordable you can get it at your local beauty supply store or order on amazon doesn't matter but it's cheap and that's what i like and look how big the tube is like it comes with a lot of glue like a lot of glue so i highly doubt you're gonna run out now onto the lace remover when i um sprayed it it doesn't have a smell first of all and when i spray it it's like it's not like a watery base type spray it's like a oil sheen base type spray and like the second that you spray it the wig starts lifting like the second so that's what i really like about it like it it like it removes the thing about it though, with the glue residue left on my forehead, I still do have trouble like removing it, but I have a trick. When I spray this on my forehead, I let it like sit, I guess. And then I get my witch hazel when it, in a cotton swab and I rub it and the glue automatically comes off. So that's just a hack for you, for those of you who have trouble moving the glue residue with this. You can use either witch hazel alcohol, whichever is your preference and rub it. With the with this and it will come off so yeah and this is only um twelve dollars other people said that it also works with other glues like ghost bond and boho i don't know i never tried it yet i am going to try it and let you guys know but so far it does hold up to its name like it does remove the lace from it so i would give this like a eight but yeah and total these two products, you could buy Gold Spot with it. Like, it's cheap and affordable. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so that's what I really like, really like about those products. So that's basically the end of the, re end of the review. I just wanted to give you guys an insight on my experience with the glue. Other people have different experience. Some people have the same that I had. It holds for others and it doesn't. It's your choice. Um... If you guys do want to see a video of me like comparing Ghost Bond and the Isha Lace Wig Glue, then I would do that. Just comment that below. And I'm going to like actually apply the wig and everything and have it in for like four days and tell you guys my experience with it. But um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Period. Mm -hmm.